Hi everyone, I'm Chuckle here for another video review. This time we have Mr. Kipling's It's Seedingly Good Fiendish Fancies. <laughs> um, yeah, so these ones are basically a Halloween limited edition. It's slightly after Halloween now, so a bit late with this one, but there we go. Um, there's a way it goes, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so this is just another one of the limited edition ones. They've done various limited edition ones. I just reviewed one the other day. What was it? Mr. K it was um, a Rodar limited edition Witches one. Um, Form of 86 or something like that it was. Yeah, so this one, uh, obviously more of a Halloween specifically one this one. I, I would have said that the uh, 486 one was kind of Halloween but I think that might have been more by fluke I'm not sure. <laughs> but this one clearly Halloween inspired. Pumpkins and a spider somewhere. Spider's webs is there? Yeah there's a spider web somehow. Maybe it's Spider-Man more because it's a huge web <laughs> just behind it there. Maybe Spider-Man is uh, now affiliated with Halloween who knows. And then um, yeah so there we go so yeah not too bad and then on the side there as well. We will notice it goes round a bit there. Oh, that's not bad, dear. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, continuing on. Blum. What on earth's that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty poor, that. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. It's, it's got the sell by date on or whatever. Um, yeah, it's actually 25th of October, so uh, it's not even before the 31st of October, unless it's assuming it can, must be next year. Um, that's pretty poor as well, isn't it? If it's the 25th of October and uh, Halloween's the 31st. I mean, it'll still be fine to eat and everything, you know. Um, there we are, a bit, bit rubbish that, but it doesn't give a year, so, hmm. It gives a time as well. Yeah, I think, uh, to be honest, it is best before dates. I think if it's a used by date, you have to, you know, that's one where it could literally go off. But best before one is probably, almost certainly, just one for stock rotation and things like this. So it's be perfectly fine, really. So, um, orange flavor sponge cakes with vanilla flavor topping, 11%, covered with orange flavor fondant. Orange colored fondant, so not flavored, orange co colored fondant. Fondant icing, 49%. So there we go. So if we had 60% there covered, I don't know what the rest of the 40% is. Um, and then it gives you, a, that was the official description, it gives you more sort of, you know, where uh, nicer looking one. I was reading that one up there. I don't know if it's the same, but that's what does it say. Uh, orange flavour sponge with a delicious vanilla topping drenched in the orange coloured fondant icing. So we've got delicious and drenched this time. There we go. You might hear some fireworks going off. It's, um, not bonfire night tonight, but I think it's the first, second or third of, uh, what day is it? Hmm, first, first, second. Yeah, the third, I think. Third of uh, November, so bonfire night, UK is the fifth. So it's the nearest uh, weekend to it. So, but we could might consider on to the next week as well, who knows. Bonfire night, for those of you who don't know. Well, if you did, well, basically, I've explained it all in my, <laughs> it's a bit of a plug here, my mini roll review that I did, um, was it bonfire mini rolls or whatever? Mini bonfire logs, there we go, yeah. So yes, so go go watch that. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, so it's the little things that mean the most, like an exceedingly good cake from Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling quality guarantee. So basically, yeah, you can get in touch with them if you don't like it. Um, yeah, so calorie-wise, 106 calories. This is per 27 gram cake. 2.7 grams of fat, 1.2 of which are saturates. Gives you some recycling information as well. 100% natural flavors, no artificial colors, no hydrogenated fats, suitable vegetarians. You have the V symbol, which just a suitable vegetarian, so yeah, you'd think they'd have the V symbol, really, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, exceedingly good. It's got hashtag exceedingly good, so yeah, that's their sort of slogan, Mr. Kipling, exceedingly good cakes. Um, now, the problem now the problem I'm gonna have with this is I've said it with all these Mr. Kipling limited edition ones is the fact that the original French fancies, which is what these are based on, come in three different flavors. So, this has got eight of them in there, they, they have chocolate, strawberry, or pink <laughs> and um yellow which i guess probably is vanilla or it's not banana anyway i don't know but anyway and they taste you know I think the, the chocolate ones are not surprisingly not the nicest out of the three i think the uh, i think the yellow ones are the nicest um but the problem with this one of course is the fact there's only one flavor in it or one type which is orange all the way through so it's orange flavor sponge so hopefully it'd be quite nice actually yeah so i'm looking forward to it but obviously there is that detriment but of course if it's beautiful um it shouldn't be a problem Right, let's uh, give it an open. <laughs> okay, right, hopefully I'm censored. <laughs> yeah, always work as well. Yeah, anyway, long story short is I can't really tell where the uh, camera is at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> hopefully I'm censored. So here we go. Yes, let's give them an open. Um, right, so let's see. So, yeah, cardboard out of box. Comes in a nice pack. Um, yeah, mm, not very nice, I think you would definitely say. Very pumpkin like, actually. Yeah, definitely pumpkin looking. Obviously, it's orange flavour, it's not pumpkin flavoured, so. Not sure what to make of that, but there you go, that's the way it is. Um, yep, yeah. the microphone's working as yes, it is. Um, yeah, so there we go. So, uh, yeah, hmm, 
yeah, looks nice. Got like a, a sort of chocolate drizzle on top as well. Don't really mention the chocolate drizzle, does it? Um, yeah, cool orange colored fondant. So I guess it kind of does it in the um, yeah, in the small print maybe. It's part of the forty percent that's missing. <laughs> um, maybe like one percent chocolate drizzle. Uh, so there we go. So you can see there's some kind of. I don't think you can quite see in the cellophane some impact marks where the tops have banged against it a bit when they've been when they're put upside down. But you can see. It keeps them quite well organising when that happens. So there we go. And it's quite, and it's a good proof again. This one that um, they can, these cake bars can be squinched. There's <laughs> a word I made up. Squidged very close together, and it not cause any problems. Because a lot of them, I've, I think I've reviewed in the past where there's been, the packaging has been horrendous, and there's been lots of gaps and things. Um, and you could just if I was saying, well, they need, you know, if they're too close together, they'll squash or whatever. But this one clearly is evidence that they don't. So. There we go, there's no need for wasted space. And I think it's probably acceptable, sort of, to have that bit at the top space, maybe. It probably could be a bit flatter, but there we are. Okay, let's give it a proper open. It's probably acceptable that there's a bit of leeway on the, on the high, so I'm not sure. But again, that could be the argument they're using elsewhere as well. But it smells nice and zesty. Mmm, I like the smell, actually. It does smell of a zesty orange smell. Not a chocolate orange smell, but a zesty orange, so, hmm. Okay, I'm looking forward to these, I'm looking forward to them. Let's try to take one out delicately, if I can. <laughs> Not so delicately. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there we go, so that's what we've got. So we can see it's, the orange is slightly lightened where the cream is on the nubbin at the top. So basically what these are is a sponge cake, a cube of sponge, with a chocolate drizzle, with a cream nubbin at the top. Yes, there we go. You can see that the side there, the chocolate drizzle's not extended to on some of them, so that's a bit, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Some of them it does, some of them it doesn't, so it's a bit of an odd one, that. It's as if the chocolate drizzle only gets, drizzles over one side almost. But, um, yeah, they did make these in the Great British Bake Off um, a few years back, and it was uh, interesting, interesting. So there we go, so um, not as easy as you think to make. <laughs> uh, really nothing is, is it? So, well, there's things. Yes, it's cubes. It's roughly, roughly about three centimeters by three. I think maybe it's a bit lopsided cube. Yeah, two point seven in some places, but mm. yeah. Well, at the bottom it's uh, three point three and a half. So yeah. So yeah. So it's not quite a cube, but uh, yeah. There we go. No nubbin on the top. Roughly half a centimeter. So, so I did discover a great way of eating these actually when I was having the other limited edition one the other day. And basically, you start at the bottom and uh, eat it this way. Well, you can't see my face, but uh, eat it at the bottom. You can end up with just the top with a nubbin of cream, and it's quite a nice way to eat it, actually. Uh, so there we go. So I'll cut it in half, so you can see what we're up against. So it cuts quite well. Yeah, it cuts very nicely, actually. Very smooth. I like that. <laughs> uh, let's put the knife. I'll leave it there. So. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Look at that. So that's exactly what we're up against. Yeah. So we've got a sponge, the cream, a little bit at the top. And I think these look very accurate to what they do on the front, actually. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with. Now, the, 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 you have to remember the inset at the front is not directly half, so it looks like there's less cream. And it's done on purpose because if you do it this way, it looks a bit too creamy. <laughs> but you can see, yeah, pretty pretty accurate, I think. Maybe some of the bushes are slightly out. It's a bit more square-like in the uh, on the box, but I think that's pretty good. And I think the creams, there's a lot of cream there. Um, yeah, and a thin layer of fondant on the top. I think that works well. So what's the actual flavours on this? It says um, orange flavour sponge cake. So the, the sponge is orange flavoured. Vanilla flavour topping, covered orange coloured fondant. So yeah, the sponge is flavoured orange. And it's not a strong smell now, but it's definitely there. Orange, yeah, as I say, yeah. a zesty orange smell. So if you had an orange in front of you, it smelled like that, rather than just chocolate orange, which kind of smells orangey, but not like a zest. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for these. And we should give them a go. So let's do it. <laughs> I've gone right, okay, back again, so let's taste one and a half, so we're uh, say back again, of course, to you, it's all instantaneous. For me, I've been moving around, changing the camera, washing my hands, all sorts. <laughs> so there we go, so uh, yeah, okay. Looks very nice, that does now. I'm quite impressed with that, actually, yeah. Mm. It's very nice. It smells good as well, so let's uh, give it a go. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I have to say, I've usually been very disappointed with the um, Mr. Kipling Limited Edition French Fancies or whatever they've been called. But this one's really nice. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Mm. 
because they're flavoured the sponge as well, normally they just keep it vanilla. Hmm. It tastes a bit different. I mean, it's not massive taste to it. It's still quite sweet, but it has a little, a bit of an orange, subtle orange taste, I think you'd say. And the, and the fondant tastes nice as well. It doesn't taste of orange, it just tastes nice. Hmm. And the cream's quite refreshing. The cream just tastes the same cream as always. It ne they never change the flavour of the cream for some reason. I wish they would, but... Hmm. I call it sometimes, but yeah, wow. Hmm. I mean, I think the cream at the top is, is quite sweet, really, and it's probably the one thing, actually, about it. Now I've thought about it more, and I should have known this before, really, but it is a bit too sweet. Um, but I quite I do like these. Yeah, they're very nice. Definitely on the par with the best ones from the regular... Uh, the, the normal uh, French fancy, so yeah, hmm. See if I can show you if you bite it from the top, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yeah, these are nice. They're still not massively different from regular French fancies, but they I would say that they're um, the font's probably got a slight hmm, you know. Well, yeah, it's very a very slight taste. It's a bit cloggy, maybe, but very very slight. I would definitely say this is on a par with. It's better than the chocolate one in from the one that fancies the uh, regular French fancies, and definitely on a par with probably the strawberry one. I think the pink one. I think the yellow one's still the best, but this is really nice. Yeah, it is really good, and the orange flavour spongy is quite subtle, but it just makes it have a little bit of a taste to it. I would say it's massively orange tasting though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Didn't quite work in this case, but <laughs> I'm left with the cream, uh, the cream nubbin. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice this one. I think um, I think it's not quite orangey enough. I think that's the one problem with it. But I think it's nice. I think um, hmm. one of them is probably enough. Having two of them, it's a bit much. It just starts to think, oh, you know, uh, that's a bit much that. But um, hmm. definitely nice. And the orange, when you first have one, the orange flavours. There, it tastes nice enough. Um, it does remind you of orange flavouring, and then um, I think it looked nice. When we have a second one, it kind of not quite the same. You know, it's a bit you're used to the taste doesn't quite really hit you as much. But the sponge just has that subtle taste. As I say it's very subtle though. The orange, it's not a really strong orange flavour, which is a shame. But it was enough to come through. I think um, it's enough for the sponge just to not taste boring. It's only subtle though, as I say, so it's, you know, it's borderline, but um, hmm, it just manages to come out on the right side of it. Yeah, I'm impressed with these, I like them. Um, I don't think it's a 5 out of 5, but I think, I think I'm going to say a four, 4 out of 5, I think, maybe 4.5, but I think a 4. Really impressed with them, I think they work well, they look good. The limited edition range of this is is a good one, it works with, with Halloween, the pump, they look like pumpkins or whatever. Um, very much the same orange, it's quite good that it's orange flavour as well, I think the orange flavour is nice. It's just the same flavour of the cream or anything like that. The cream's still a bit too sweet. I think mean, that's one of the complaints with these, really, is generally the cream's quite sweet. There's only a little bit of it, but it is it is sweet. Hmm. Um, yeah. One problem with these French fries in general, I think if you leave, if you once you've opened them, you've got to eat them quite quick because they kind of go a bit hard otherwise, you know. And that's probably why I could do that thing where I could bite them and they end up with just the, the, the sort of the, the fondant with the, with the um, nubbin at the end with the cream in. And when they've gone a bit hard, you can do that, but you can't when they're fresh like this. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you do have to be careful with that. That's one problem with it. Um, and they were sealed away. Well, they were put back in the cardboard box as well, so I just had to put them in a tin or something. Um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think I think a four out of five. I think four and a half is too much. Um, I think if the cream was flavoured, um, I don't know what, I mean, you know, I don't know what they'd flavour it to really. You'd have to just be orange again, wouldn't it? But I think if it was flavoured or something a bit different about it, it might have, might have raised it a bit higher. Although I don't know what they could do there. I mean, maybe just give it an orange flavour, so the sponge is slightly orange and the cream's orange flavoured. Or at least diet orange or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, not sure. I'll do something with it anyway. Um, yeah, so I think for me that's probably where it could have been improved a bit. And, um, and I think, you know, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. But they're not going to blow your socks off, but they are nice, and I like them. They're not not really better than the proper original French fantasies, but um, definitely better than a lot of the limited edition ones I've had, you know, they, which have been quite boring. And this one, as I said, that subtle change to the sponge does make a difference, and it is quite subtle, as I say, but um, it's definitely noticeable, and it works. So, Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow me to subscribe to my videos, um, follow me to subscribe as well, and I'll see you next time. And leave a comment on free as, as well. It's always great to hear from you. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.